can anyone guess what this is? Today we have for you a different review and something I've been looking to expand the reviews into for a long time. If you guess a Glock 9mm, you are correct. This is a Gen 4 Glock 19. It is uh, chambered in a 9mm. This one has been uh, Cerakoted by Lipsy's, the company. So, a little bit different than uh, standard colors on a Glock, which I kind of liked. It caught my eye when I was at the store, and I ended up taking it home. Uh, the Gen 4, I've had uh, other Glocks in the past, and the Gen 4. I really like just because of it's got the larger magazine release here. The Gen 3 and other ones have a much smaller one. And I have to change my grip much less when uh, using this one than with the uh, smaller one. Just so everyone can see, this gun is 100% unloaded. There is no magazine, no bullet in the chamber, and all my magazines here are also unloaded. This is a USA made Glock, so not Austrian made which is also, I think it's kind of cool. I like keeping the business here in the United States. Uh, other thing that's cool about the fourth generation is it comes with different options for the back strap here. This is the uh, smaller thickness grip, but with the dovetail here on the back, which keeps it, when shooting it, it keeps it kind of, uh, helps me maintain a firmer grip. Kickback is put on your thumb and straight backwards, so it keeps it more level and also keeps your hand away from the slide here so you can't get slide cut. I think it would be just about impossible to get your hand caught in that which if that's a problem for people I don't really have a problem with that in the first place so other than that typical uh, Glock what I like about the Glocks is just the reliability is just ridiculous I don't think I've ever even had any issues with any Glocks they all shoot great break it down for you here the Gen 4 versus the Gen 3 has, this is a dual stage spring, recoil spring here, so it has the two springs in there instead of the other ones all just have the rod, the guide rod, and a single spring, so that's pretty cool. This one you can see is a little dirty in here, I do shoot this, and that's pretty good to do. See the length for the barrel here with the chamber, three and three quarters inch, but I believe just the barrel part two and a half inch barrel but on the top of the barrel you can see 9 by 19 here US made Glock so quickly put it back together here for you have not done much to this Glock uh, did put the American fat flag base plate on the back I did that with my other one too. It's just a cool little touch. Some people might think it's gimmicky or whatever, but I do like the American flag. And if I can look at it when I'm shooting some guns, then even better. In the future, I might switch the sights up on here. I really do enjoy the uh, Glock sights. The ball and the cup are really easy. Good, get a good fast sight picture. Obviously, there's not night sights or anything like that. Shooting at night is still gonna be a little bit more difficult, but in the daytime it's just a blast to shoot. This thing is pretty accurate. I've shot it probably only about 600 rounds through this one so far but I'm sure there'll be plenty more. I really do enjoy going out and target shooting so and this one's a little bit smaller size for a uh, carry if that's your thing. The Glocks are kind of chunky like this but it's really just tucks in the waistband nicely. It's nothing too crazy. The Glock uh, Gen 4 Glock 19 comes with three of these magazines with it from the factory. They hold a 15 plus one in the chamber, so it comes with three of those. This one I have the uh, plus two base plate on the bottom of, so you can hold 17 plus one instead of the 15 plus one. And for some good old fun shooting, sometimes we like to pull out the big stick. This one holds uh, 31 in here, and if you put a base plate on it, you can stuff a few more than 31 in there too, I found. 
just by continuing to do that, but they might not cycle reliably. These are, the big sticks are a little bit more cheaply made than the factory Glock magazines, so I have had, I think I jammed it up once with this thing, but I know it's 100% the magazine, not the gun, so yeah, this is just for fun. But this thing is just a blast to shoot. I can't get enough of these Glocks. I recommend them to just about anybody. Great gun. The quality is pretty great. The price is the, almost the best part. These are extremely affordable. This one having the coating on it and being the Gen 4 is a little bit more expensive, but you can pick up Glocks for less than $400 all day long. It's starting to get just a little bit of wear and tear. You can see here on the slide release and then on the top of the barrel. It's starting to get the signature Glock smile on there, but it doesn't have too many uh, rounds through it yet, so this one's not really too bad quite yet. And then on the top there of the barrel, starting to get a little bit worn out, but hopefully we'll be getting some shooting videos pretty soon here. I'd like to bring that to the channel and get get outdoors, and I think that'll be a good addition. So if you'd like to see uh, shooting the Glock or AKs or rifles, handguns, anything like that, uh, throw a comment down. Tell me what you guys want to see, and we'll try and see if we can make it happen. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, tune in next week for another episode of DKR.